Hey everyone, it's uh, just gone half past two in the morning, so it's now the 23rd of November. <sighs> not been a good day, weather wise at least, it's not been a good day. We'll turn this laptop off now. Just realised I don't need that on. Right, um, not really a good day in the charity shops either, there weren't a lot about. Uh, I just got some games and CDs more than anything. A couple of uh, PC games. I've got this PS2 game. Let me check it's actually in there. Yep. Disney's Dinosaur. I have no idea what the hell this game was about, but... Probably never play it, but it will go in my collection nonetheless. Uh, PC games. We have Lego Masterpiece, Lego Friends. I have not the foggiest idea what this thing is about or how old it is. The highly acclaimed collection of Lego software favourites at a smart price. Oh, this one is actually um, quite old. When I saw the Lego Friends and the sort of human-like people on the front, I thought it was a lot newer at first because Lego has a theme called Lego Friends. Which uh, isn't that many years old, to be honest. It's only four or five years old, something like that. But this is what the figures look like in that theme. But having read this, the um, system requirements are um, Windows 95 or 98, DirectX 6.1, Pentium 133 MHz. Okay. 60 megab megabytes of free hard disk space. Ooh. They made a boo boo there, they forgot to put a space between free and hard. So it's one word, free hard. An 8x speed CD-ROM drive, 32 megabytes of RAM, Direct3D compatible graphics card, capable of 800 by 600 in 16-bit colour. That takes bugger all to run that. That will run on most of my laptops. And the other one, actually because I've got, is it even in there? Oh, it is in there. I was going to say it felt really, really light for a second there, but it is in there. The other PC game I got was this um, SimCity 4. What do we need system-wise for this one? I can't freaking see, and I don't know where my... They print this stuff so bloody small sometimes. I'll just try to find my magnifying glass. Well, here's one of them. Not the one I want, but that'll do. Windows 98, 2000, ME and XP, DirectX 7, 500 megahertz processor. For some reason I've got DirectX version 7 twice. 128 megabytes of RAM, so this one does need a bit more RAM. 1.6 gigabyte of hard drive space, an A-speed CD, DVD drive, video card, and 32 megs direct deck, direct 3D, I think that's what that is. Input, keyboard, and mouse. Huh. My Dell Dimension um, gaming rig down here will play that one. Actually, to be honest, I do believe, in theory at least, the Dell Dimension 4600 that I built for playing games should play most of what I've got on this shelf down here. Should. Because uh, they're sort of... I think most of them that I've got here are actually in that sort of ball, ballpark. Ball, I said ballpark. Yeah, I got that from the same charity shop. They're 50p each, so... I'm going to quibble for that. You know, check that one, that's there, isn't it? 
And then from um, the community shop that I volunteered to deliver leaflets for, I got Now 51, which is actually a Now CD that I do not have. I'm not going to even check the CDs are in there because I, I know that shop. They check them. Um, a couple of PS1 games. The Simpsons Wrestling. Which was £3. And it's in there. And, now this is one that I definitely couldn't walk away from. Tomb Raider 3. For £4. I think I spent £9 in total in there. Yep. Tomb Raider 3, Adventures of Lara Croft. I will confess, I have never played a Tomb Raider game. And the other one, just because... The Best of Dance 93. Because I do like that sort of music from back then, so... And for some reason, in the community shop, they put their CDs in this sort of... Uh, cellophane wrap. Well, I presume it was them that did it, because I've never bought a brand new CD like that. And it doesn't matter how old the CD is, they have it wrapped in that, so I'm presuming they did. And yet, yeah, all that and all the paperwork's with that one as well. Right, let me shut that down there for now. Uh, so I bought that Lego set, I'm going to the camp so you can see it today, over the back there. Which is actually a Lego Friends set. I'm just going to move that flashlight out of the way. And that disc. The Lego Friends theme, by the way, is actually aimed at girls. But, uh... I like it for the parts more than anything. Um... Because with a lot of other Lego themes, they use the standard Lego colours, as in red, blue, green, white, black and grey. Um, and sometimes this tan colour and brown. But uh, with a lot of these friends sets, you get a lot of different, or a lot of other colours, I should say. Um, like these two shades of purple, uh, this sort of uh, turquoise blue, uh, pink, you know, the sort of colours you don't often find in the other themes. And a set like this gives me a lot of other bits and pieces to build other models with, like these big window pieces for example. <clears throat> So uh, that's why I like to buy these friend sets, especially these uh, bigger ones. That's all dirty along there because it's scraped all the paint off. Besides, with this set, I thought this was pretty cool. Can you tell that spray can is going to be annoying? It's supposed to sit like that. But every time you go like this... <laughs> One design flaw with that set, anyway. If you want to know, or want to see the review of this set, it will be on my um, Bricknut 30 LEGO channel. But I do like this, it's got a little car launcher. It's like a LEGO version of Hot Wheels, look. <laughs> I thought that was pretty nifty. <laughs> you do get two of those go-karts, by the way. Yeah, I've treated myself to that because last time I got paid I wasn't able to treat myself to a birthday gift. And I do like to treat myself. So I got that and I got this brand new flashlight from um, Lidl. It's a Levano Lux. Oh, it's even got a German um, address on there. So Levan. I'm guessing Levano is actually a German company. But it's an aluminium body, nice blue colour, I think it's what they call an anodised blue. Um, it's got a zoom feature on it, you can 
basically change the focus of the light beam just by doing that. That's what that does. It takes three AAA batteries, which it comes with. That go in this sort of little cartridge thing. Which is what I like about these LED torches. A lot of them, they come like that. You get a little cartridge that you put your batteries in. Drop it in. That just makes life a lot easier. Screw the bottom on, Bob's your uncle. You've got a flashlight even comes with this little pouch that goes on your belt. You just push your belt through the belt loop. That's right there. Which I suppose, if you're out and about, I don't know if you're volunteering at an event and it's the event's being held at night, you could put that on and put this in your pocket. Or put that in that pouch. Mind you, this would actually go in your pocket well enough, but uh, it's got three settings. It's got this one. I don't know how well that's going to shine. That's quite a wide beam, and if I just lift this up, we can concentrate the beam. So it's got a bright setting like that. And it's got a dimmer setting. And then, if I turn it off and on again... No, I didn't do it. Oh, I see. I thought you actually had to turn it on and off, but if I click it, I've got the brightest setting. But if I just press it lightly, I can change the setting. If I press it lightly again, ah, so I don't have to click it. Ooh. I like that. I thought I had to click it each time to get each setting. But I've just found out that if you just press it lightly when it's on, it uh, changes the setting. Well, as you saw, it's got three settings. Bright, slightly dimmer, and then the flash setting as well. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's a little cob LED, what they call a cob chip on board. I don't know if it's actually a Cree LED, but I know I'm not looking at it. <laughs> But the only reason I got it, it wasn't a bad price, I think it was $3.99. Um, and out of all the torches I've got, I don't have anything this sort of size that gives a decent beam like this one does. A lot of mine are old, which are about as much use as a chocolate fire guard these days. So um, I just thought I'd treat myself to a nice one. Presuming there's some water resistance to this because when I unscrew the um, I'm just presuming a lot of things because I haven't actually read the um, thing with it yet It's got a little seal. You see that like a little o-ring around the bottom there So I'm guessing it's probably water resistant to a degree. It's probably not fully waterproof, so I wouldn't want to submerge it, but I'm guessing it could be used sort of in the rain and in the damp and it'll be all right. But uh, I like that. Even shows you on the side there, look, it's got two dots and it says zoom. One way for the concentrated small dot and the other way for a flood of light. Just found some more information written on this. Don't think it's a Cree, but it does say it's a one watt LED. Um, 70 lumens. IP44. I'm, not, I'm sure that's a waterproof rating, but I can't remember what it is. I think that is pretty much splash proof. That just says what the batteries is. It's three times 1.5 volt AAA. Or three times 1.2 volt rechargeables. They'd work on this, I expect. Ooh. Let's just uh, have a look at that cardboard inlay. Because sometimes, yeah, Lovano's good at that. You think it's just a cardboard inlay, but they put the uh, the manuals that come with it inside it. Yeah, so that just shows you how to install batteries. In theory, installing batteries is something we should all know. I just dropped on the floor. 
we should all know, or at least I would have thought most of us would know how to put batteries in, but just because it's something we do on a regular basis, that's all. That's why I was, uh, I mean, I shouldn't assume things really, should I? That's not good. Because assuming makes an ass out of you and me, as they say. And uh, I have to say, I have actually made assumptions and made myself look like a total dick because of it, so... <laughs> yeah, the IP44 is the protection type. What Google that? Safety instructions. Danger to life and risk of accident for infants and children. Never leave children alone and unsupervised with the packaging material. The packaging material poses a suffocate. Really? I can't see how, but I wouldn't let my kids, if I had any, have that, had any, you know, have the packaging because it's trash, you know, it goes straight in the bin, but I, I can't see might be possible actually with that sort of packaging. I wouldn't want to rule it out anyway, so that's, that actually did surprise me. I never thought of that with that sort of packaging. So it always pays to read the manual. Preferably up the right way. <laughs> <sighs> Children frequently underestimate the dangers. Always keep children away from the packaging material. This product is not a toy. Totally forgot what I was going to say. It was torch related, but I totally forgot. It's a nice colour. I had a choice of this colour or black. Now black is my favourite colour. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not a colour, it's a shade. But, uh, as for actual colours, I would say blue. Well, blue is one of them, purple is actually my other. Believe it or not. There's a bit of woo. I'm actually a pretty good beam on this. I've actually noticed there is a blue tint. And when I'm looking at the side here, I can see a blue tint. Oof, it's bright enough looking at the side, but when I shine this on a white surface like my front door, I don't think it'll show up on camera, so there's no point in me turning you around, but I can see a blue... Hang on. I might as well. I don't know if you can, but I can see like a blue ring right around the edge. That must be the way the um, LED is made up. Good beam though. Flood. Beam. Big flood. That's actually wider than the camera lens, that flood of light. But that is actually as small as that beam will go. Dear. Oh, that PC, I was going to ask my brother if he wanted to uh, swap. We're going to swap. Uh, I only thought of it because I know he likes to upgrade his PCs. And at the time, the Dell was the only sort of half-decent machine I had. Because um, he wants to build a Windows XP gaming rig on a DDR2 platform and that Dell, like I said, was the only thing I had at the time um, but uh, as I've already said that one that was in the kitchen has has a lot more upgradeability with it if he wants to change his video card, he can um, if he needs to change the RAM, he can if he needs to um, change the power supply 
he can, because the other problem with that Dell is it takes a um, system specific power supply. So uh, that could prove awkward if it ever failed, at least with the PC that I offered him in exchange for the Dell back, because it was mine in the first place. Um, he could upgrade the power supply as well, he can throw some fans in if he wanted to. Not that I, I don't think that's going to need a lot in the way of fans because being an XP machine I don't think it's going to be that taxing on the system. I could be wrong because I'm not a gamer, I'm not that familiar. Only with what I've been playing on this rig which is my summer car and Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, Mostly, as of late, I've, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm about a third of the way through with GTA 5. I've got to complete flight school with Michael. I'll tell you what, that is a bastard on this keyboard. <laughs> oh man, I can't do it. I think I am going to have to get like an Xbox controller or something to do the flight school. Or just keep practicing with the keyboard because I've got to fly a course at low level. That's the next task. And you need two hands on this keyboard to fly the plane. And I'm just finding using the buttons everything is a bit too jerky so I'm finding it difficult. I could do it I suppose if I practiced a bit more. I mean I wasn't used to driving with the, the um, keyboard controls, the WASD controls, but uh, I've sort of mastered that now. Well I'm about as good as I was when I used the PS3 controller so well, actually I, would, I don't like to blow my own trumpet but I am pretty good. I like to consider myself as pretty good. Not the best. There's going to be people out there better than me. Anyway, um, I should be weather permitting. <sighs> Going over to Cat's Custom Trikes tomorrow. She wants a hand with a couple of things. And we're trading um, e-bikes. So, uh, although the one I've got to take to hers from Mum's is rather long, so it's going to stick out of the back of the car. Which means tying the bloody boot down. And the problem with Mum's Duke is there's not really a lot of things to tie the boot down to. <laughs> Uh, we haven't got far to go and it's mostly on back roads so I don't think it's going to be a problem but it's just awkward having to tie that boot lid down. Yeah, I guess I won't have many options would I for what to do this trade. So Mum's going to take me out there and Mum's going to pick me up. I'm going. I'm sitting here thinking I really can't be asked. I just want to stay here, but I'm going because I put it off a couple of times. I can't remember why I put it off the other week. Oh, that's right. I was having a rough, a rough. Well, that's when I had the rough weekend when I was just feeling really down and whatnot. And, uh, I'm not really pleasant to be around when I get like that because I even had a couple of days here at home because of how I felt. I still haven't done my Christmas shopping yet either. Ooh. I'm kicking the biscuits everywhere. I need a drink, but I don't have curler. All I've got is cold water in the fridge, so I guess that's going to have to do. That won't hurt, will it? Not till morning. I 
bought two of these and put in the fridge. I bought two of these this morning and put in the fridge and I've, I've drunk them both tonight. I didn't think I would. Oh dear, my battery's nearly dead. Well, that's, on. well, that's not a bad thing because I could ramble on for the Olympics. Seriously, if I didn't have limitations on memory cards and batteries on this camera, I could sit here and talk to her all day. Anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I will talk to you in the next video. Ta-ta!